Heat shrink termination procedure. Convection, hot air, or infrared heating tools may be used. Heating tool must be equipped with the appropriate reflector to circulate heat around the HST device and to protect the surrounding components. Step 1. Prepare ground lead. Ground lead wire must have a quarter to five sixteenths inch of insulation removed from end to be soldered. If the application does not require the use of a pre-installed ground lead on the HST device, a separate lead wire or braid must be prepared for termination. Step 2. Prepare cable. Check your work instruction for the required method of cable prep, end or center strip. The use of thermal strippers will prevent scoring or cutting of the shield conductors. If using another method, use extreme care to avoid cutting or damaging the conductors. For complete end and center wire stripping procedures, see the HST installation guide at www.glenair.com videos. Step 3. Assembly. If using a separate ground lead wire or braid not pre-installed in the HST device, align the stripped portion of the ground lead with the braid of the shield. All strands should be laying in their original lay with no strands poking out, folded back, or out of position. Slide the appropriately sized HST device over the cable and ground lead assembly. Twisting or rotating the HST device as you move it into position will prevent any displacement of shield strands. Position the HST so the solder preform is centered over the exposed shield and stripped ground lead. Step 4. Heating End Strip Wire Be sure the ground lead is aligned with the braid of the shield. Typically, heating center stripped wires can take slightly longer. Be sure the ground lead is aligned with the braid of the shield. Step 5. Inspection. Ensure the ground lead is correctly aligned with the exposed cable shield. The HST device should completely cover the braid and ground lead. There should be no exposed metallic components outside of the kynar sleeve. Check that sealing rings have completely melted and flowed. The solder preform shall have completely melted and flowed. No evidence of its original shape should be visible. No pooling of solder should be visible. If so, reheat and reflow. If applicable, the thermal indicator will have transitioned from colored to colorless. Check to see if there is proper wetting of the solder into the cable braid strands and ground lead. A solder fillet should be visible along the side of the ground lead. Minimum fillet length, 1 8 inch. There shall be no thermal damage to either the cable insulation, ground lead insulation, or the HST sleeve itself. Slight discoloration is normal with certain cable insulations. However, there should not be any melting, charring, cuts, etc. to the material. 